Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today, it's this, uh, this is like a, a two-part, three-part series on relationships uh, in the Philippines. Uh, I answered this is really going to be, a, I don't know how we're going to do a part one, point two, but it's about, uh, I get questions and answers all the time and uh, from people and so I thought I'd bring them out to my subscribers and have you guys help me these are the questions that I get asked all the time so this is going out to the subscribers to everybody please comment below questions and answers um, uh, these are from uh, American Filipino women these are from different people but today I met a mountain girl now this is a mountain girl and this is coming from an American. I met a mountain girl. She is very sweet, but very little English. I'm an American missionary. I can speak a little Visayan, but the language is really different because of the tribe that she's in. They're, they have their own language. Each tribe has their own language, so it's hard for him to communicate, he says. Uh, but really, I'm in love with her, but the, but the tribal... Uh, leader the tribal leader in the tribe wants me to marry her because her and I get along so well and according to their particular tr tradition they've uh, not not uh, been together but they're they're together meaning close so what do I do and she is an excellent person I really love her but uh, uh, communication is a problem number one number two is uh, the tribe wants to marry me in the tribe, and since I'm a missionary, I want to get married in my church, and she's not a member of the church. Wow, huh? So, what do you do? Well, I am no expert. I don't know what to do. My opinion, not only my opinion, my opinion is not worth anything, but if it was me and I'm a missionary, uh, he did not say the ages and things like that. So my first question would be, how old you are? Uh, meaning how old's the girl and I know you're old enough because if you're a missionary you're old enough so um, uh, how old's the girl so I suspect it's probably around the same age because uh, he goes in and tells later on uh, communication I talked to her uh, she's so there they have someone that speaks English that can know the language so in other words the missionary groups that they're uh, some speak that particular language are little and understand a little of it so number one is uh, learn the language. Don't get married right now. Learn the language. Stay there. Uh, learn the language. Communicate with her because you may find out you may not. But the scene, he says it seems like we have things in common and it goes down through there. I didn't want to read the whole letter to you. It's really long. Um, but So I wrote just kind of like circled the thing I wanted to say. So if it was me, I would uh, learn the language. I would stay and learn as much of the culture as you can. That particular mountain tribe and uh, you guys figure it out together where you want to get married. Because if you want to get married at the, at the uh, tribal leader, uh, there's process there. Uh, Philippines recognizes it. Uh, but if you want, you're adamant about getting married in church, you want to have a church wedding, uh, that is something that she would have to, that you would have to do. Now not saying, because him missionary, so they are, they're teaching school there, they're, um, as he said, they're teaching the school there, and they're they're a pro product of that particular group. This particular group, uh, he says, Baptist, so he's part of the Baptist missionary group. It doesn't matter, uh, but anyway, that's what I would do. I'm answering his question. All right, the next one here is my mother. Uh, this is from a, a a young man. All right, my mother is an OFW. She has not been in my life for at least 15 years. So apparently she has been working overseas. I have been raised by my sister, Ate. My mother is coming home. I really am afraid uh, to meet her. She is very. Uh, she has sent money many years, but I really don't know her. I really got to really don't know her. He would see her. I would see her uh, two weeks, maybe during the time she could take off. Then she's back overseas again. I'm 23, now out of college, no job. I have a girlfriend with a child, and it's his child. Here's my question to you. I have a job in Manila. My mother wants me to move in with her in Bacolod, and that she wants me to stay there, and I, she would pay all my bills and take care of me. But I really want to go. Uh, this particular job is a good job for future. So what do I do? She said, 
she really wants to pay my bills and want, wants me to stay with her and uh, her to take care of me. Uh, and he also says, I cannot uh, bring my wife because I'm staying at someone's, uh, another family member's place. Man, that's really a big situation there. So, your mother's gonna can take care of you. You have a job opportunity. You can go to uh, Manila and work, but your mom says stay there with her and she'll pay your bills and take care of you and take care of your uh, girlfriend uh, and your, your, your child. So what do you do in that particular instance? Man, that's a big question. I really say it depends on what you want to do. I really need to get to know your mother because it's your mother and you really probably need to spend some time with your mother. A particular job, you know, they don't come by very often. Apparently this is a nice job, job opportunity. So I leave it to you subscribers on what the best thing to do is. I, I really don't know in this instance what would be the best thing for him to do. I would think that that he wants he really doesn't know his mother. Uh, his mother wants to be him with him because she has worked all her life there uh, overseas. Apparently she's been working over there for quite a few years. Uh, last 15 years. And I think he said he was seven. He's 23 now. Uh, yeah, okay, 22, 23. So, seven years. So, she left when she was seven. So, uh, kind of gives you an idea of the, the atmosphere there. So, I'm going to leave it to you guys. And maybe I can get some subscribers to help me with this one. And uh, his name is, is uh, Stephen. And he is, uh, uh, yeah, his, his, his name is Stephen. So, he's Filipino. And his wife is Filipina or his girlfriend is Filipina. So the question goes out to you guys, what in the world should you do? I'll let you guys answer this, and then I'll send back a reply to email. I told these people, I asked these people if I could put their, their names online, and I do a video about them, and they said that is fine. Uh, this These questions came in uh, over a week ago, and they have replied to me and says, yes, please uh, put it out to your subscribers. They need help, and their questions answered. So. I want to thank everybody for watching our videos and uh, thank you for uh, subscribing and please if you want to answer some of these and help these this particular, these two questions here I have another video that's online that will be online that uh, I had two other questions answered I have many more I have many more here um, that I get uh, get asked so I want to thank everybody for watching again please subscribe